Hello, uh, my name is Juan Rojas, and I'm here to talk to you about introduction to linguistics, more specifically about what phonetic and phonology are. Before I uh, start talking about that, I want to make sure that you understand that I am not a native English speaker, I'm just a student, but I'm gonna give it a chat and I'm going to try to clarify what is phonology and what is phonetics once and for all for you guys. Let's start with what phonetics are. Well, phonetic is a discipline that is in charge of studying the parts of our body, especially the mouth, of course, that are involved in producing a sound. Uh, in other words, it's mainly involved in providing an objective way to describing and analyzing the sounds we use in our language. And now, on the other hand, what is phonology? Well, phonology is a language specific matter. Yes, it's related more to languages. Uh, this means that it's interested more in the sound patterns of particular languages. So it is more concerned about the characteristics of the sound system that tells apart one language from another. Now I'm going to talk about the most common mistakes that uh, Spanish speakers, uh, they make. The first one is the final ed sounds in the verbs. Like for example, in wait, which is waited, want, which is wanted, cook, cooked, stop, stopped. The second most common mistake that Latin American speakers made when they are speaking English is the dropped consonant at the end of the words. Some words, for example, uh, because we don't have that sound in Spanish, uh, like text, we usually drop that T at the end and we say text. And with breakfast happens exactly the same. We drop the T at the end and we sound like breakfast. And uh, the third one is the plural of some uh, words ending in an S sound, which makes us believe that is already in a plural way. Like for example, horse, house, place, class. So we, when we say to class, for example, we already believe that we are making it sound like in plural, but the right way is to make it like this way. Horse, horses, house, houses, place, places, class, classes. Now we have some words that uh, for us as Spanish speaker, we don't, especially Latin American speakers, we don't differentiate the, the words between the letters B and V because we don't use in Latin America the fricative. That is the sound that we produce when uh, the air is coming through a small opening that we create by touching our upper teeth with our lower lip. Like when we pronounce the letter F or the letter V like in best and vest, bold and vote, very and very, best and vest, bold and vote, very, very. That's all guys, I know, wait, <laughs> we still have one more. Uh, the silent letters in this, for example, let's see how we pronounce it. Receipt, receipt, island, island. We don't have to, we, we make usually confuse this one with the country, which is Iceland. And actually Iceland is an island. <laughs> Talk, the L doesn't sound, and walk. Thank you very much.